Now to campaign 2019, where today voters will drop off their ballots for several key issues. That includes things like the massive $30 car tab initiative. You've likely seen commercials for that. Another big issue, seven of the nine Seattle City Council seats are up for grabs. Cairo 7's Rob Munoz is live at a, ba a ballot box. Ballot, Rob, these races are pretty heated. Yeah, and Amazon, you know, chipped in a million dollars, which likely turned up the heat. Definitely, actually, did on these city council races. Now, the ballot box, the ballot box here in Ballard, has been very full. People have been stuffing them in, trying to get them in. This is mine. I'm not going to put it in until the end yet, just yet. But we have seen several protests outside Amazon Seattle headquarters and statements from current council members. They're all pushing back on Amazon's million-dollar election dump. The online retail giant gave the money to elect a more business-friendly council. All uh, seven seats of the council are up for election. Four of them are open races with no incumbent. And one of the main targets of this corporate PAC funding has been District 3 council member Shama Sawad. The billionaires want to keep this city a corporate tax haven. While the rest of us pay disproportionate taxes. The city council races have been seen a record $4.3 million being spent on the races. Now, four years ago, when those seven seats were up, spending was only three quarters of a million then. So that shows you how much money has been coming into this election cycle for the Seattle City Council. Now, the outlarge seats, seats eight and nine, are not up for election for another two years. This is for seven seats on the council. And again, a lot of these ballot boxes are already filling up with quite a few pieces of paper being stuck in there. Guys.